You think you can just walk away, Caroline? The real fight's just starting, and it's one you'll lose. Mark's voice dripped with venom as he spat those words at me. I should have seen it coming, the slow disintegration of the man I thought I knew. The man I fell in love with, whose charm and ambition first captivated me. Mark Evans, heir to the Evans Construction Empire, swept me off my feet with his confidence and grand visions for our future together. Those early years were a whirlwind of passion and excitement. We traveled the world, dined at the finest restaurants, and dreamed of building our own legacy. But barely a year into our marriage, the cracks began to show. The man who once showered me with affection and attentiveness grew distant and dismissive. Date nights were replaced by late nights at the office. Romantic gestures faded into cold indifference. And when I tried to confront him, to salvage the love we once shared, he shut me down with harsh words and accusations. You're the one who's changed, Caroline, he'd say, his voice laced with disdain. You're not the supportive wife I need. You're holding me back. Desperate for understanding, I turned to our friends, but they merely echoed Mark's sentiments. That's just how men are sometimes, they'd say with a shrug. You have to give him space. Their dismissive attitudes only deepened my despair. Was I truly the problem? The flawed partner failing to meet Mark's needs? Doubt crept in, eroding my once unshakable confidence. Yet deep down, I knew something was terribly wrong. The man I loved had become a stranger, consumed by a darkness I couldn't comprehend. And as the years ticked by, that darkness only grew, casting an inescapable shadow over our marriage. As the years crawled by, Mark's control over me tightened like a vice. He isolated me from friends and family, making me increasingly dependent on his approval. My once vibrant spirit withered under his constant criticisms. Why can't you be more like Jessica? He'd sneer, referring to his co-worker at Evans Construction. She understands the sacrifices it takes to be successful. Jessica. The name alone made my blood boil. She was Mark's new favorite, the young protege he constantly praised while belittling me as a failure of a wife. Maybe if you put in half the effort Jessica does, I wouldn't have to work such long hours, he'd taunt, his eyes cold and unfeeling. Whenever I dared voice my concerns to our inner circle, they simply brushed them off as the ramblings of a jealous, insecure wife. Mark's just under a lot of stress, they'd insist. You need to be more supportive. Only my sister Kate saw through the facade. He's manipulating you, Caroline, she pleaded. This isn't the man you married. But I was too deep in Mark's web of lies to listen. He'd convinced me that my role was to stand by his side, no matter what. To question him was to betray our vows. You're lucky to have a man like me, he'd snarl, his grip on my arm bruising. Most women would kill for this life. So I stayed. I endured the emotional neglect, the financial control, the constant belittling, all in the name of keeping my marriage intact. Until one night, everything changed. Kate had come over unannounced, a frantic look in her eyes. Caroline, we need to talk. She thrust a folder into my hands, the contents spilling out like a damning confession. Bank statements, hotel receipts, even grainy photographs, all evidence of Mark's double life. He's been having an affair, Kate breathed, her voice trembling, with Jessica. In that moment, the blinders fell from my eyes. The late nights, the unexplained expenses, the endless praise for his co-worker, it all made sense. Mark had betrayed me in the cruelest way possible, and Jessica, that conniving snake, had helped him do it. The evidence of Mark's betrayal was undeniable, but something didn't add up. Why would a successful heir to a multi-million dollar company risk everything for an affair? Kate insisted we dig deeper. There has to be more to this, she said, her brow furrowed. Mark's not just throwing away his marriage, he's jeopardizing his entire future. That's when I remembered Greg, an old friend from college who now worked at a competing construction firm. If anyone had insight into Mark's business dealings, it would be him. I arranged a discreet meeting at a quiet café. Greg's face paled as I laid out the sordid details. Caroline, I had no idea things were so bad with Mark, he said, shaking his head. But you're right to be suspicious— Evans Construction is in serious trouble. According to Greg, the company was drowning in debt from a series of botched deals and mismanaged projects, all orchestrated by none other than my esteemed husband. Mark had been gambling away the family fortune, 
taking increasingly bigger risks in a desperate attempt to keep the business afloat. He's been cooking the books for years, Greg revealed grimly. If word gets out, Evan's construction could face total collapse. Suddenly, the puzzle pieces fell into place. Mark's affairs, his erratic behavior, his obsession with maintaining a lavish lifestyle, it all stemmed from his desperation to hide the truth about the company's dire financial straits. I confronted him that night, waving the damning paperwork in his face. How could you do this, Mark? To me, to your family's legacy. For once, he didn't have a snide remark or scathing put-down. He simply stared back at me, eyes hollow and haunted. You wouldn't understand, he muttered darkly. I did what I had to do to protect us. But his platitudes rang hollow. I knew the real Mark now, a deceitful, selfish man willing to sacrifice everything for his own greed and pride. There was only one person I could turn to, Kate. She'd been right about Mark all along. And now, she was the only one I could trust to help me expose his web of lies. We need to gather evidence, she declared, her voice steely with determination. Document every shady deal, every siphoned dollar. Then we take the whole truth to his father and the board. I nodded, a newfound resolve settling over me. For too long, I'd been Mark's victim, cowering in fear and self-doubt. But no more. It was time to fight back and make him pay for his betrayal. With Kate's help... I hired a private investigator to uncover the full extent of Mark's misdeeds. Sam Johnson was discreet, professional, and highly recommended. If anyone could get to the bottom of this sordid mess, it was him. A week later, Sam arrived at my door, a thick file tucked under his arm. I've got everything you need, Mrs. Evans, he said grimly, and I have to warn you, it's not pretty. Sam's findings exposed a tangled web of lies that made my head spin. Not only had Mark been having an affair with Jessica for over two years, but he'd been funneling company funds to support their lavish rendezvous and Jessica's expensive tastes. Take a look at these receipts, Sam said, spreading out a stack of documents. Five-star hotels, designer clothes, even a down payment on a luxury condo, all purchased with money embezzled from Evan's construction. But the biggest bombshell? Jessica's true motivations for seducing Mark in the first place. Turns out, she's had her sights set on your husband for a long time, Sam revealed, ever since they were rivals back in high school. Jessica had always envied the life of privilege that Mark was born into, and when she weaseled her way into a job at his company, she saw her chance to claw her way up the social ladder, by any means necessary. She's a real piece of work, Sam said, disgust etched across his face using her looks and charm to latch on to wealthy men, bleeding them dry before moving on to her next target. As if the betrayal weren't enough, Mark had put our entire future at risk through his reckless behavior. Sam's investigation confirmed that if the company's financial troubles became public knowledge, Evan's construction would likely face bankruptcy and total ruin. I sat in stunned silence, the weight of Mark's deception crushing me. How could the man I once loved have fallen so far? And with Jessica's poisonous influence whispering in his ear, enabling his worst impulses. We've got everything we need to bury that bastard, Sam declared. The evidence is rock solid. All that's left is for you to decide what to do with it. I didn't hesitate. I want him exposed, I said, my voice trembling with fury. The board, his father, everyone, they all need to know what kind of man Mark Evans really is. Sam nodded, a glimmer of respect in his eyes. You got it, Mrs. Evans. It's time to make them pay for what they've done. With the truth finally laid bare, there would be no more lies, no more covering for Mark's misdeeds. The masks were finally off, and I was done playing the victim. Armed with the damning evidence, I summoned Mark to our home under the guise of wanting to talk things over. He arrived cocky and smug, clearly expecting another round of hollow apologies and promises to change. But this time, I was the one in control. Have a seat, Mark, I said coolly, gesturing towards the sofa. He quirked an eyebrow but complied, that arrogant smirk still plastered across his face. I wasted no time cutting to the chase. I know everything, I stated, slamming the thick file onto the coffee table. The affairs, the money laundering, all of it. Mark's expression faltered, his bravado cracking slightly. Caroline, listen. No, you listen, I snapped, leaning forward. This little game of yours is over. I have proof of your misdeeds, enough to bury you and your precious Evans' construction for good. 
He paled, eyes widening as he took in the reams of incriminating evidence laid out before him. For a brief moment, I almost felt a pang of pity watching his world crumble. Then he opened his mouth. You stupid, ungrateful bitch. He seethed, spittle flying from his lips. After everything I've done for you, for us, this is how you repay me? My pity evaporated, replaced by a cold fury. I repaid you? I shot back, incredulous. You betrayed me, Mark. You cheated, lied, stole, all to fund your tawdry little affair with Jessica. The mention of her name seemed to spur him into a rage. He lunged towards me, hands outstretched as if to strike me. Don't you dare speak her name, he hissed, his face twisted into an ugly sneer. Jessica's the only one who understands me, who gives me what I need. You? You're just a pathetic, frigid excuse for a wife. His vicious tirade broke the final thread tethering me to the man I once loved. This, this hateful, cruel stranger was the real Mark Evans, and I was finally free of his toxic grip. Get out, I said, my voice steady and cold. Take your insults, your empty threats, and get the hell out of my life for good. He opened his mouth, doubtless to spew more vitriol, but I cut him off. I'm done being your victim, Mark. The evidence goes to the board first thing in the morning. After that, I let the implication hang in the air. For a long moment, we simply stared at each other. Him seething with impotent rage, me resolute and unbowed. Finally, he turned on his heel and stormed out, the door slamming behind him with an air of finality. I exhaled slowly, the weight of years of torment finally lifting from my shoulders. With Kate's fierce support and guidance, I would expose Mark's treachery to his family, to the board, to the world, and I would do it without flinching or faltering. No more games. No more masks. The real fight was only just beginning. And this time, I would be the one emerging victorious. The next morning, I strode into the sleek high-rise that housed Evans Construction's corporate offices, the weight of the incriminating file heavy in my hands. Kate walked by my side, her presence bolstering my resolve. "'You've got this, sis,' she murmured as we approached the imposing double doors leading to the boardroom. It's time to make that snake pay. I nodded curtly, squaring my shoulders as I pushed open the doors. A hush fell over the room as over a dozen sets of eyes swiveled towards me, including those of Mark and his mistress Jessica. Mark's father, Thomas Evans, presided at the head of the long table, his craggy features set in a disapproving scowl. This is highly irregular, Caroline, he barked out. Explanations now. Of course, Mr. Evans, I replied, my voice steady despite the pounding of my heart. I have evidence here that directly pertains to the future well-being of this company. Ignoring Mark's murderous glare, I proceeded to lay out the entire sordid saga, the affairs, the embezzlement, the reckless business deals that had brought Evans' construction to the brink of ruin. With each damning revelation, the air seemed to grow thicker with tension. You're lying! Mark exploded halfway through, leaping to his feet and upending his chair. These are nothing but fabrications, the desperate lies of a jealous wife. I simply arched an eyebrow, sliding the photographic proof of his trysts with Jessica across the table. Does this look fabricated to you? I asked coolly. Mark fell silent, fists clenched so tightly his knuckles turned white. Jessica, for her part, shrank back in her seat the cool, calculating seductress now exposed as the two-bit fraud she was. By the time I finished my presentation, a strangled silence hung over the room. No one dared meet my gaze. No one except Thomas Evans himself. The old man's face was thunderous, his eyes blazing with a potent mix of fury and shame. Slowly, he raised his gaze to lock with his sons. "'How could you, boy?' he rasped, the words dripping with bitterness and disgust. "'Have you no honor?' No sense of the sacrifices I made to build this company from nothing? Mark opened his mouth, perhaps to offer another feeble denial, but his father silenced him with a raised hand. I don't want to hear it, Thomas growled. As of this moment, you are stripped of your position and authority. The decisions you've made, the lies and deception. He shook his head slowly. You've disgraced this family's name for the last time. As Mark sputtered incoherent protests, his father's eyes found mine once more. Mrs. Evans, it appears I owe you a debt of gratitude, and an apology for failing to see the truth sooner. The words were gruff, but they carried a weight of respect I'd never imagined from the imposing family patriarch. I inclined my head in silent acknowledgment. I expect your full cooperation in rooting out this— 
This cancer, Thomas continued, sweeping his gaze over the shaken board members. Starting today, we begin setting things right. As the disgraced former heir and his disgraced mistress were ushered from the room, I allowed myself a small, vindicated smile. The first battle had been won, but the war was only just beginning. Because in that moment of reckoning, a new and chilling realization had taken root in my mind. Jessica's subterfuge ran far deeper than a mere affair. And I had a sinking suspicion that her role in undermining Evan's construction was just the opening salvo of a much larger, more nefarious plot. In the aftermath of Mark's very public downfall, the legal proceedings moved swiftly. Lawyers descended like vultures, filing suits and countersuits as the once mighty Evans family fought to preserve their legacy. Through it all, Sam the private investigator remained a steadfast ally, his dog determination to unravel the full truth proving invaluable. And with each new revelation, the extent of Jessica's betrayal grew more staggering. You were right, Caroline, he told me grimly one afternoon as we pored over stacks of financial records. Jessica's role in this goes far deeper than a simple affair. It turned out the manipulative vixen had an even more scandalous history with the Evans family, one that predated her affair with Mark entirely. Years earlier, fresh out of college, Jessica had briefly been involved with none other than Thomas Evans himself. She was a bright young intern, and he was a powerful, wealthy businessman, Sam explained, disgust clouding his features. The whole sordid thing only lasted a few months before Thomas came to his senses and broke it off, but not before Jessica got her hooks into some sensitive company information. Information that, years later, she was able to parlay into weaseling her way into a job at Evans Construction and into Mark's bed. Her entire seduction had been a calculated long con— designed to bleed the company dry from the inside out. But that's not even the worst of it, Sam continued, pulling out a confidential dossier. Take a look at who Jessica's been reporting to all this time. The name on the top sheet made my blood run cold, Andrew Thompson, CEO of Apex Developments, and Thomas Evans' oldest, bitterest rival in the construction game. You're telling me this was all an elaborate scheme for a corporate takeover? I breathed, the pieces finally falling into place. Sam's answering nod was grim. Looks like it. From what I could dig up, Thompson's been looking for a way to take down the Evans Empire for years. Planting his little honey trap as a mole was a low blow, but an ingenious one. As the truth sank in, a wave of rage washed over me, not just at Jessica's deceit, but at the sheer depth of Mark's gullibility and weakness. How could he have allowed himself to be so thoroughly manipulated, to be used as a mere pawn in someone else's long game of revenge? The answer, of course, was the same as it had always been. Pride and hubris. The toxic combination that had blinded Mark to reality time and again. Even now, facing potential criminal charges and financial ruin, he still couldn't admit the role he'd played in his own downfall. He's going to try to take you down with him, you know? Sam warned, catching the thunderous expression on my face. The lawyers are already spinning this as some sort of twisted vendetta on your part. I shook my head, resolute. Let them try. I have the truth on my side this time, and I'm not afraid to fight for it. With the legal battle looming and the fate of Evan's construction hanging by a thread, it was time to make the tough decisions. To separate the innocent from the guilty, and excise the rot that had nearly destroyed everything. And I knew just where to spy rallying the one person who had more reason than anyone to hate Mark and Jessica, Thomas Evans. In the weeks following the explosive boardroom confrontation, the Evans family rallied around a singular mission, saving their legacy from total destruction. With the looming threat of a hostile takeover by Andrew Thompson's Apex Developments, we had to move swiftly and decisively. Surprisingly, my strongest ally in this fight was the man I once feared most, Thomas Evans. You were right about my son, the old man had growled during one of our clandestine strategy sessions. Bloody fool nearly flushed everything I've built down the drain with his arrogance. There was a flicker of paternal disappointment in his eyes, quickly shuddered. No more. It's time to cut out the cancer before it spreads any further. With Sam's intel on Jessica and Thompson's underhanded dealings, we began systematically dismantling their twisted scheme from the inside out. Shady real estate deals were exposed, insider trading uncovered, corporate funds traced to offshore accounts. Their sloppy, 
Sam noted with grim satisfaction as we reviewed the mounting evidence. Got too cocky, started leaving a trail. Meanwhile, on the legal front, a barrage of lawsuits and criminal charges rained down on Jessica and her corporate conspirators. Between the paper trail and my own sworn testimony, her role as a duplicitous mole was undeniable. Going to make an example of that two-bit hustler, Thomas vowed, his eyes glinting with cold fury. Maybe then others will think twice before trying to take what's mine. As for Mark, well, my former husband had become a ghost— fading into obscurity as the world he once dominated crumbled around him. The golden sun had well and truly fallen, his wealth and power stripped away to reveal the petty, vindictive man beneath. "'You want to see him?' Kate asked one day, catching me staring pensively at an old photo of us from happier times. "'One of my friends spotted him last week, said he's really hit rock bottom.' I shook my head, feeling an unexpected pang of, "'What? Pity? Sadness? It was hard to say.' No. I'm done wasting energy on Mark Evans, I replied firmly. My focus now is on the future, for me and for the company. And what a future it was shaping up to be. Against all odds, the Evans family had rebounded, our counterattack leaving Jessica and Thompson's rivals reeling. Cherry on top? An opportunity I once could scarcely have dreamed of. Need a steady hand to guide us through these choppy waters, Thomas declared gruffly, appraising me with frank respect. The board wants you at the helm, Caroline. Time to take your rightful place as the new head of Evans Construction. My first instinct was to balk. Who was I, the former minority wife, to take over leadership of such a prestigious company? But then I caught Kate's proud, encouraging smile from across the room, and my resolve solidified. This was my chance to cement a new legacy. To rebuild from the ashes of deception and betrayal, creating something resilient and true. A chance to take control of my own destiny, instead of letting it be dictated by the whims of duplicitous men. I accept, I said simply, holding Thomas Evans's inscrutable gaze. It will be an honor to help shape the company's future. And as his craggy features broke into a rare smile of approval, I knew I'd made the right choice. The victim had reclaimed her power, and the rebuild was only just beginning. 